Hey guys, it's Dastro again, and I'm doing another interview for the CGL APA Draft League. This time I have Big Mac and Opticon. Uh, for those that have seen uh, some of the X Factors Minions videos, Opticon and Big Mac are two of the minions. And so, uh, Big Mac and Opticon, uh, how are you guys doing? Good, hey, how are you? How's it going? I'm doing quite well, and you guys are. Uh, we got Opticon the tank. Opticon is a tanker, and he's a tanker for X Factors Minions, and also is the tanker for Team C, which is Captain Garrett's team on the CGL Championship Gaming League APA Draft League. And Big Mac is an infantry guy uh, uh, on the Dream Team roster. And while we're, I'm giving a narration. Uh, there are dudes fighting us, and right on the train. And we're gonna. And I, I take him down. That's cool and all. Now, I, a lot of you guys who watch these videos were like, Dascro, stop with the clicking. You got a mechanical keyboard. Stop using the mechanical keyboard while you're playing. It's hard. It's you, you want to kill a dude, but uh, hit that tank. But yet, uh, you can't. Uh, you can't do both. So I'm gonna uh, be a little bit more refrained about, uh, or restrained rather, uh, using my keyboard and to when I answer my questions. So. Uh, Let's just start with the first question here for both of you guys. Uh, Big Mac and Opticon, what, what is your uh, competitive experience out there? Is Battlefield your first game you've played competitively, or have you played some other games? And uh, what, What's made Battlefield different, uh, and appealing for that matter, uh, to play competitively? Uh, oh, well, go ahead. <laughs> this is, uh, well, this is my first uh, competitive play. Never played competitively in any other game. I've always wanted to in Battlefield, I never knew how, and you know, just found out through X Factors videos that uh, you know he was putting uh, together a team, and I was interested and gave it a shot. Very cool. Now that, that was that was Opticon speaking. For those that are are wondering, Big Mac, what about yourself? I played somewhat competitively in Counter Strike 1.6 and Source. Although this is the first game I've been on a team that's really been considered anything like a contender. So, uh, for the most part, Battlefield 3 is my most serious competition experience to date. Very cool. Now, Opticon, since you said this was one of, you know, the, the first competitive game that you played, what, uh, you know, when you came into this after watching a few of X Factor's videos, what were your expectations of what competitive uh, gaming was going to be like? And then, uh, how do you think about it now? Well, uh, judging from. He's on one of the best teams, if not the best team in the game. I knew it was going to be tough. I saw his videos, and you know he does everything close to the perfectly. And I knew I, I was just expecting a lot. And now, I, you know, once it's, everything's broken down, it's not that complicated. You just got to stick to a strat game plan, and you got to work well with your teammates. See, I see. Was there something that you may have underestimated, such as the importance of, t of, uh, of, of good comms, or the importance of, of knowing your position or other positions, anything around those lines that sort of surprised you of how important some of those aspects were? Communication was one of the biggest things. As far as tanking goes, even with your rep guy, you have to be constantly talking. You know, every time you're moving, you got to constantly communicate, because it can mean life or death. Uh, very well put. And uh, for you, Big Mac, were there any things that, that you were sort of surprised about after pubbing this game that once you started playing competitively, it was something that was uh, surprising or, or, or... Well, when, you, when you're pubbing, you know, you know everyone has the right intentions. You, people are trying to capture flags and play as a team, but because of, I think because of the lack of the voice communication, it, organizing it's really difficult. And um, once you get on a team, a competitive team, and everyone's in a voice chat, it just really makes all the communication a lot easier, a lot smoother. You can hit goals all at once rather than kind of being scattered. And, and you know, in pubs, people kind of go every which way. And, uh, you know, in competitive-wise, it's a lot more fluid. And in some ways it's easier, but because you're playing a higher level of competition, it does get tough. What, what sort of common things did you run into during pubs that you simply don't see? Uh, in, in, in playing in, in, a, in a gaming match. Is there anything in particular? This is a question for both of you, not just for... In pubs, there's a high level of, like, randomness. Like, you'll get hit from angles that you just don't expect because people are going every which way. Uh, in competitive, you kind of 
for the most part, know where the enemy is, and there's a lot less surprises, but they also know where you are. So that's really the, where the challenge lies. Yeah, in pubbing, it's, it's very unorganized, and I find myself being alone most of the time, especially with the tank. I'm just running off on my own, doing my own thing. And as opposed to competitive play, it's like you know your team, you know, you got a feel for them, and working together is, I feel, it's a lot more fun for me. What what makes it so much fun in comparison to pubs? Is it just the, the fact that you can rely on good teammates, or you can you can uh, know that that not only do your player do your teammates have the right intentions, but, but are going to execute? Or is it something more than that, and perhaps uh, these sort of battlefield moments that... Uh, that manifest themselves during matches. What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, for me, uh, I kind of treat these games as somewhat of a sport. You know, I really like competition, and the thing that's nice about the competitive scene is everyone's trying to win. Sometimes you get people in pubs that are focusing on a specific thing, they're trying to unlock a weapon, or they really want to snipe, or something along those lines. And um, once you get with the team, you know what the goal is. And for me, that's the most fun thing. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, a lot of it in competitive play, it's more of a, a rush when you're playing a team that's you know equal to you, or you know you be yeah you playing a team that's better than you uh, ranking wise, and you know it's always a, a good feeling to know if you could win and and you gotta take them in rush. Tank pushing on you. Let's see this tank out. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Oh, I'm gonna run. Yeah, I'll get around. Infantry right next to you, Dasco. I got him, but he got me. Uh, that's Is that bad. a mortar? I think that's He's also a mortar. You. He's pushing you. Um, disable. Oh no, did you go I'm down? Spawning D. Yeah. Oh no. Well, I can spawn on Big Mac, or I can get the... I can get the LAV. Go we'll grab it. Before I push it up, let me ask the next question before I go on a, on a rampage here. Does, uh... When when you guys start playing in some of these matches, you come up with strategies, some ideas or tactics, if you will, for these maps. How often do they actually work? I mean, how often do you, do you get this great idea and you talk it out and you feel good about it, and then you and then it hits the it hits the battlefield? What how, what happens? Does it change? Uh, there's a, there's always a general strategy, a key flag that you need to hold or a lane that needs to be watched. But the thing is, nothing ever goes according to plan. So. You, sh you plan for the best case scenario, but then you have to deviate from that to clean up mistakes and to counter what the other team's doing. So there's always a pretty high level of, uh, of challenge trying to balance the moves that they're making while trying to execute your own plan. Yeah, uh, strats, as far as strats go, you know, you have a plan and you have a, an idea of what they're going to do, but you just got to be... Uh, you know, constantly thinking, and you gotta constantly always, you know, keep in the back of your mind that it's not gonna be that way, so you have to just be prepared for, for everything. Have you guys found yourself changing up some of your, your core tactics when playing against teams that perhaps have a, uh, a more dominant jet or helo pilot, or maybe, a more, or maybe a more dominant infantry compared to you guys? How has that dynamic changed? If you know a team has a particularly good heli helicopter pilot or tank, it's in some respects, right here. in some respects, you you can't force it. Um, so so you sort of have to work against what you perceive as their weakness. So say you have a tank, a, a team like uh, WKA that has, just has a really strong tanker, and you know they're going to have a couple of reps guys <laughs> on that tank. You might want to try to put yourself in a position for your for your own infantry to do more lifting than normal. Uh oh, C4 Jeep, uh, what was oh, that? Okay. He just um, uh, blew himself up. All right, I'm burning C. Oh, There's right. a tank coming out of F right now. And there's, I think, a lob at E. No, there's a tank coming tank. out for E ramp. 
I'm gonna try to hit him in the back right here. Oh, I'm down. I got a good hit on him, uh, and I think I can take him out. Oh, nope. I am getting pounded. And I go down, but that's okay. Did some damage. Um, so, uh, you guys uh, are, are, are both in this Championship Gaming League AP8 draft. Um, how do you... Uh, what are your thoughts on it? You, I mean, what, what's different about this league compared to other leagues? And why are you excited about it? If you are excited about it, maybe you guys are... Really I'm really excited. It. I think it's going to give a lot of people that aren't normally uh, playing at a high level or against high-level teams a chance to kind of uh, get a feel for some high-level play, some high-level strategies. I think hopefully it'll bring some... Uh, some exposure to the competitive scene and get more people involved. Yeah, I think it's just a cool thing that's going on with the draft. I mean, uh, it's given a chance to play with other people you don't you usually play, and you know these people are all coming from top teams, and it's kind of like uh, the All Star Games. It's pretty cool. Dude, I'm, I'm fine right now, so I can't, can't try to. No. <laughs> I don't want to annoy the users too much. Uh, There's a bunch of infantry below this bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think they died. Alright, I'm Is that down. Coming from That's three? okay. Um, are, are there any particular players on your respective teams? Uh, Big Mac on the Dream Team and uh, an Opticon on Team C that you guys are looking forward to playing with or perhaps are. Uh, maybe, maybe you have some animosity towards a few of these players you're playing with, and how do you think that's going to work? Well, I've got Doc Gollum on my team, and it's going to be nice to have him not shooting me in the back with his tank for once. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. I'm, just, I'm excited to play with new people, and you know, all the plays on my team seem pretty good, and you know, I'm just excited to get going and start scrimming games and stuff. Oh yeah, what's there, is there a, a mortar guy here somewhere? Somewhere around there. He might be dead. I think he may be dead. They're on this flag. They're on E though, yeah. Let's check the trains. Yeah, I'll throw a grenade in the trains. He might be in here. Yeah, I think he's over here by me. Yeah, I think oh, he's, he's in this trank. He's in this yellow container on the right of the flag. He's gonna be it's, on your right, that's I got one actually down. a crimson player. I got him. Hey. He's, he's down. Alright. And we get the point back. Looking good. Now, Opticon, uh, in your case, what drew you? Plain tank. Ah, uh, well, it is battlefield, and vehicles are a big part of the game, and it's just something I've always liked doing. I, I was originally a chopper pilot in BF2, but chopper choppers in this in Battlefield 3 were kind of broken at times, you know, with certain things like TV missile, and I don't know. I just tried a different thing and tried the tank, and grew to love it, and here I am. <laughs> the tank coming out of G. Yeah, I see that. I do like infantry too. Do you do you sort of yearn for you know the the good old days, maybe playing Hilo again or Jet or what have you? Yeah, if I you know if I had a good pilot and which we do on the minions, we have uh, Blueprint as a good pilot. But uh, you know we'll see when that day comes. But for now, I, I'm really enjoying the tanks. To give Opti some credit, he's actually a pretty good infantry player. We've got him playing on one of our force teams, and they've been pretty successful. So he's multifaceted. And, and you know, you. this AV8 draft league is a uh, is in, is a conquest mode, but there's more than one mode in Battlefield 3. You have 44 Squad Rush, you have 5v5 Conquest, you have some rush modes, albeit they're not played competitively. Um, big rush, I mean. What uh, what modes do you guys most enjoy playing? And what are the sort of the pros and cons in each of the, the modes, and what are your thoughts on? Uh, I'm a conquest player through and through. That's sort of what I grew up playing on Battlefield 2 and uh, the earlier Battlefield games. Although in Bad Company 2, I preferred Rush because it was a more uh, open game mode for some for some reason. What are you? Uh, I'm pretty much all conquest. I like taking the flags. I like you know, more people on the battlefield, and it's kind of the route I'm going. Very cool, very cool. I'm not, there's a guy right next to me, and I'm going to go down. Uh-oh! Oh, -oh. Just... oh well, we traded. That's okay. Still a tank sitting on G. I'm trying to sneak up behind him here. Did 
just respawn in. Maybe I'll get a vehicle. Nope. Nothing right now, but that's just fine. What uh what what do you see as the uh, you know the future of competitive battlefield? Do you do you guys see uh, bigger conquest game modes co maybe coming into fruition? Are there are there certain aspects of the uh, the sort of competitive gameplay, be it through balancing or otherwise, that you think you'd like to change that kind of thing? I think the uh, barrier to, to entry really needs to be lowered to to an extent. Uh, most legitimate leagues require recording is sort of the anti-cheat and it would be nice if there was a global battle recorder that would uh, make it a lot easier for people without beast oh, beastly we're in trouble, computers. Big Mac. We're in trouble. Yep. We oh, are. we're in trouble. Uh, oh no, they see us. They need they to kill us. us. Ah. Oh, well, man, that was a, that was a, a, a freedom swim, but we, uh, yep. we didn't get it. Now they're swimming in contempt. Uh, that's too bad. It seems like Battlefield's headed towards a smaller game type at the moment, but I think some of the DLC will hopefully reinvigorate the larger game modes like 8v8 or preferably 12v12, 16v16 would be great. And, you know, yeah. I, I have to agree with you there. Abikam, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, like they were talking about they were making like possibly the biggest map they've ever created and so I'm looking forward to that DLC content when it comes out. I am as well. I, I mean, I'm remember back playing in Battlefield 942 and Battlefield 2 with the old 12v12 events, and they were they were great. Oh, the the, the uh, tank at G is is raining down on you, FYI, Africa. Um, but I, I remember those game modes where you play with 12 other folks and, or 11 other folks, or and it was it was incredible. That many people, um, it was it was a lot of fun. And it was fun because it wasn't just well, do, do we do I have do I want to really focus on vehicles and sacrificing my infantry, or do I want to focus on jets or helos and sacrificing my infantry? You didn't have to make those compromises. That's what I really enjoyed about it is that you had to is that you basically had uh, full spectrum conflict if you know, if I want, if that term is applicable. You had the most things to balance. Yeah, and at its core, I think what, one of the things that makes Battlefield so amazing. Is that this sort of rock paper scissors balance between tanks and infantry and jets and heroes? And that could be if 942 was even. Uh, it was even. It's the guy in this building. Stuff. Yeah, I see that. Let me just get out and kill him. He sees me. I'll suppress him a little bit. Oh, is he low? He's still there. He's still there. I don't even. I don't see him anymore. I think he might have died. Yeah, he's right here. He died. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's all right. Um, Let's push up the D here. Oh, they got got, a. Uh, what what are, what are you most looking forward to with the, uh, the the Armored Fury DLC coming out? That's more armor centric. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to see, like perhaps a new tank perk or a uh, new type of tank or vehicle that you want to use? Anything around those lines? Ah, uh, maybe a new tank perk would be cool. Uh, I don't really have any ideas what I would actually like, but maybe uh, maybe to fix, you know. I don't really know. I'm just, uh, we'll see what happens, and then I'll I'll go from there, I guess. Uh, now you you, you were about to say something. You're about to say <laughs> try to fix something. I think what, you know. I what 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 do you have in mind? What do you, what what what's a, an imbalance that you see right now? Well, getting disabled easy. Uh, you know, the usual stuff that's happening right now. Yeah, I'd like, behind to, us. I'd like to see tanks buffed back up a little bit. I feel like um, they've been weakened to some extent, which seems a little odd considering this is Battlefield, and, you know, tanks are tanks. They should be pretty powerful. Indeed. I, yeah. you know, I, I mean, I, I have to agree with you guys on, on this because um, there, there really is a delicate balance between when the tanks are overpowered versus the tanks are, well, not overpowered. And, uh... What I've noticed is that in the latest patch, the tanks can be disabled very easily. And I'm not necessarily against that, but um, I, I look back maybe in nostalgia to the days of the F-942 where you Come had, you. Where you had, uh, you had AT guys and a tank guys that had an anti-tank gun and they could, they could do a pretty good amount of damage to the enemy tanks. 
but they only had a bolt action rifle and so they basically got one good shot and that was it and uh, and so there was a distinct vulnerability in going that class and I feel like in this game the engineer class isn't um, doesn't have that disadvantage when it comes to infantry, infantry combat there's no, no. Not really. I mean, for instance, right now I'm playing Engineer and I'm just wrecking infantry, which, you know, is a very strange feeling for me, at least. And to me, that's that's sort of what is sort of odd about this. And I want to, I want to, uh, uh, this is the end of the round. We'll, we'll go to the next round and we'll kind of close this up and do another you know, few minutes of footage. Uh, but while this is loading up, um, let me just sort of end this sort of comment. With I would like to see maybe the engineer class balanced in a way where the engineering guns are less effective, or alternatively, make it so it's much more cumbersome to deploy and uh, and reload the RPG or smaller javelin. Maybe even decrease the number of, of, of rockets they have. I know they did that last patch, but I'd like to see something around those lines, uh, personally. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? I do miss those days when you had to sacrifice something if you wanted to go anti-tank or, or even if you just wanted to repair the tank um, I think that would be a good idea and would force a bigger variety of gameplay because it seems like right now most teams go NG heavy because there's really no downside yeah sure you can't uh, revive or put on a health pack but um, taking down that tank is a whole lot more important um, in many respects you know. But I would like to see gameplay in the future where support or even recon are, are, are greater emphasized. But that's for another topic, though. Uh, while we start this round up, um, I want to ask both of you, what words of advice do you guys have for players that are maybe interested in playing uh, competitively or getting into the competitive scene but don't quite know what they're getting themselves into? What, what words of advice do you have for those guys? And let's start with uh, Big Mac on that one. I think it really starts with a mindset. You, you can... Even pub in a, in a manner that's similar to competitively, you just have to pub with a purpose. And that's sort of something that was preached to us by uh, the rival guys from the beginning. So when you go into a game, have a goal in mind, you know, whether it's holding this certain flag or working on your shot. And if you kind of keep that mindset, when you do get into the competitive scene, you're going to be successful. Because the, the people that do the best are the ones that can learn from their mistakes, identify what, what they did wrong, and how they can improve it for the next time. And what about you, uh, Apicon? What, uh, what what advice would you have for these players? Well, definitely dedicate yourself. Practice. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Practice makes perfect. And a lot of teams think maybe you know if they start off, they can just jump right in. It's uh, a totally different ball game. And the more practice, the more prepared you will you know you are. The more you're gonna you know succeed. Oh, I think. We're getting pounded by this Hilo. What are you I think there's say? a lot of talent in the community. I mean, the, the minions are a prime example of that. We were just pulled from a, essentially a YouTube community, and we've done fairly well in most Battlefield competitive formats. So I, I think there's a lot of talent out there. People just need to kind of organize together and, and give it a try. Really, just giving it a try is the whole main thing. And, um, you know, there's some sites like Gamers Portal that are set up to uh, accommodate finding matches and scrims are a really great way for people to start if they're interested. All right, well, uh, both great words of advice. All that being said now, uh, any last words, any shout outs, any comments, anything like that you'd like to mention? Uh, I'd like to send a shout out to uh, Nexus. They gave us a really good fight on canals and uh, I hope they do well in the rest of the Alienware tournament. I don't know if they've actually played their next match yet. I haven't been paying attention. Um, shout out to the minions, of course. Keep working hard, guys. And, um, yeah, that's it for me. So shout out to, uh, you know, Daskro himself and Rival X Factor for making these videos <laughs> and uh, putting us in them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just keep making the, the community better and, and the minions and you know, everyone else that uh, is in the competitive world as right now for keeping it alive. And for future newcomers, and, you know, hopefully we get more. Well, I uh, appreciate those kind words, and I will tell you that 
it's really about you you got you guys that play in the community as teams because the teams are the bread and butter and it's not just the top teams it's all the teams that play because um, they're the ones that are going to be there when when you need a scrim in, in a given night or you want to play or you want to play a uh, try out a new idea or tactic with another team that kind of thing they're to me, those are the, you know, that's really the, the core aspect of it. Now, I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing with the competitive side with these videos, what have you, but it's it's all about this, the, these teams and, and participation within the community. Uh, it's really fun. So, um, with that being said, I want to thank both you guys for uh, joining me. I'm about to get grenaded, uh oh. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just call it an end and just play for a little bit, and then I'll stop recording. So, uh, let's just. Uh, Play it out. Uh oh, there's a guy here. Oh, I died. What? It's kind of soft. It's really good. Looks like they are on gas station right now. That's where I'm headed. I'm going to Igla, which is completely useless, but I want to feel like that it's worth something. I want to believe that it's going to be good. It's not. Well, the problem is you need two of them for some reason. Yeah, the, the EC M Jammer is still in an odd state right now. Alright, we're taking E back. There is some infantry here, though. I'm gonna roll up with a tank. Alright. Oh! That chopper's gotta go down. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, see it. I just don't see it. I mean, I'm running Nigla right now, if you guys want to run the same. But, I'll tell you, I'm going to run out of hunger space. Alright, I'm coming in. Got a Nigla. Uh, there's a bunch of guys on E. You got eyes on that chopper? I, I am trying to find the chopper. I'm at C point, looking around. Got a lock in the jet, though. And he's in my face, I can't see him. And our jet coming to, uh... hope you got something. You got a hit on him? I got the jet. Oh, right nice job. It's all about that team war. And there's no yep. jet coming on a, 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 B, it looks like. Okay. Oh, he got too far. Maybe he comes around trying to chase the F-18. Or the SC-27. And he goes down. Oh, he's in hurt. I looks like a jet shot. coming over A, maybe? I think that chopper may have uh, gone down. I'm gonna work towards B. Alright, uh, chopper incoming, uh, coming to B. Yep. Here he comes. He doesn't see me. Locking. He pulled his ACM. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm trying to keep on locking. Son of a gun. I'm just gonna run after him. Oh, that's Leader Havoc. That's the chopper pilot on my CGL 8v8. Oh, yeah? Is yeah, it? Let's he's, just see. He, I hope, he's, hope he's, he's good. He's messing me up. <laughs> it's pretty okay. good. I, I owe him a tag hear. right now. <laughs> I owe him a couple kills. He's coming in. Where's he coming from? Oh, I see he's him. Above, he's above A. I think he's using those rocks. Oh, I got shot. Oh. I got sniped the moment I about to hit it. It's too bad. Give it one more go. Ooh, I'm getting hit by a tank. I would run. There's an AA gun. Oh, there's an AA gun right in front of me. I just ran right into it. I'm dead. Oh, these jets are trying to get me. I'm trying to take B. Why are you getting hurt? Oh, uh, chopper again. Chopper's right above me, head towards B. He just pulled his ECM. I'm trying to get a lock on him. That is a little too far. He's turning around, he's turning around though. Son of a gun. God damn it. Oh! Hey, 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 it's right next to you. I'm down. Please pull the CCM and I'm down. 
Oh, this may not work that well. One more attempt. One more. I always say one more, but then I always keep on going. Uh, I guess it's just tenacity. Someone's motoring me. Someone's sniping me. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep. I got two tanks and AA on A. Oh, and I go down. Oh. Well, I think I call this an end. Uh, and thanks for tuning in, guys. And talk to you guys uh, later.